Welcome to RSA Conference 2023. Please welcome Program Committee Chair, RSA Conference, Hugh Thompson. Hello. Welcome to RSA Conference 2023. Are you excited? I, I am so excited. I have been waiting for this thing for months and months. And, you know, I tried to think about why. Why is it that I can't wait to be back here? And it's the people. It is the community that we have built in security that's so rejuvenating. I ask myself the question, why do we convene as security professionals? I think part of it is because the work that we do every day is really, really hard. And not many people fully understand it. We've got to try and explain it to others all the time. We've been accused during some epoch, not recently, as being the ministry of no, in many cases. I think we've gotten better and we're, we're helpful and we want you to get you know, your project done, but we want it done safely. And it is that fellowship of being among others that have to deal with the same challenges that you deal with every day. Being able to talk to those people, building bridges and connections. How many of you, is this your first RSA conference? If you clap your hands. All right. I'm very excited for you. You are going to have an incredible week. Uh, one tip that you will not see in the official RSA conference uh, written material is party management is key. <laughs> there will be at least 78 vendor parties every night, so please pace yourself and, and you know, move accordingly. But I would encourage you, if you've never been here before, just have a goal of five people that you don't know. Meet them, talk to them, learn from them. This is a career where, by definition, you are a lifelong learner. And it's because we try to defend, but there are adversaries on the other side that are just as creative, just as smart, and just as well-resourced as we are. And so we're constantly having to reinvent what we do, we're constantly having to add to what we do. This is the place where you can learn from your peers. So I'd encourage you to do that, I'd encourage you to share. We're in a very special time, I would argue, in history where science and technology is advancing very, very quickly. Whenever that happens, you get the light of the advancement, meaning all of the good that can come from it. But unfortunately, whenever you have a bright light, it casts a very deep shadow. We are the shadow experts. We study the shadow. We understand the shadow. We try and mitigate the shadow. We try and put other lights in the shadow to get rid of the shadow. There has never been a more important time for that. So actually, I went out and I talked to, I want to say, seven people that I really respect. You know, a couple of them were scientists in different fields, and a physicist, a chemist. Some of them were folks in cybersecurity. A couple of them were technologists. And I asked them, what in the last 50 years were the most disruptive dual-use advancements in science or technology over the past 50 years? And those are pretty good answers, you know, very, you know, very interesting. You know, a couple, couple of things that you would expect that, that came out. But the sample size was pretty small, right? It was like seven people, but really good people with seven people. And I'm like, look, I, I, I'm going to be talking to the corpus of RSA conference about this, so I can't you know, issue results of a survey with such a, a, a small sample set. And so just to get absolute certainty 
Instead, I just asked chat GPT-4. <laughs> and what it said was number one on the list, and I actually quickly spit out the list, number one on the list was the introduction of the internet. Right? I think maybe we would agree with that. Dual use technology, you know, very helpful, you know, we used all the time. But also has a set of shadows of it that we deal with every day. Number two, ironically, especially coming from ChatGPT4, it was the proliferation of AI. You are going to see in so many sessions over this week, topics like this. AI availability, generative AI availability, quantum computing advancements. What does it do? How can we prepare? I'd encourage you during this week to soak it all in. We've got what I would argue is the best program we've ever had at RSA conference. I think you're gonna really, really enjoy it. And the last thing that I wanted to tell you it's just a huge thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being so generous with your sharing. I found that this is one of those spaces that people like to share. Thank you to the people that have sent in an unprecedented number of submissions in our call for speakers process. Thank you to the community who adjudicated over that calls for speakers process. Thank you to everybody in this room that wakes up every morning thinking about how do we defend, how do we protect, and how do we share our knowledge. I look forward to spending this week with you, and I look forward to learning alongside you. Thanks very much.